I added every fan-made Garden of Banban -Ban monster to Minecraft. First, I made Fairy Aruru, and I know she's gonna be in the actual game, but I'm still making her. I colored her body purple, gave her a face, and then added her wand. I added her to the game, and her head was looking kind of broken, so I decided to fix that. Okay, that's still a little messed up, but it's good enough. Also, her feet are both on the same leg, but I'm not fixing that. Only one fix per mob. Oh yeah, I forgot that happens. Since Fairy Aruru was made from a hoglin, I decided to go find her in the nether. I'm not usually a fan of these guys because they like to hit you from far away, but I guess for Fairy Aruru, I'll make an exception. Since Ban Ban is also a nether mob, I decided to see who would win. Ban Ban or Fairy Aruru? Dang, Ban Ban's going in. Wait, Ban Ban actually won that. I thought Fairy Aruru was gonna win, not gonna lie. I decided to spawn an army of fairies, and then I made them all chase me. Hopefully this doesn't happen in the actual game, because these guys are kind of scary. Also, their legs look kind of funny. I'm going to give Fairy Aruru an 8 out of 10. Other than the broken stuff, she looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next I made Tall Victor. I used an enderman for Tall Victor because he's tall. I colored him fully green, added these things on the bottom, and then I gave him an eye. After that I added his goofy mouth, gave him a broccoli head, and fixed his arms a little bit. I added Tall Victor to the game and he actually ended up looking pretty good. He looks kind of funny when he walks though, I don't really think it's supposed to look like that. Since Tall Victor is supposed to be a vegetable, it only makes sense to make him fight Jumbo Josh. Okay yeah, Victor had no chance. Jumbo Josh eats too many vegetables. I went to the end to find more tall victors, and then I got them all to chase me. I don't even know if this is scary. His face looks kind of goofy. Okay, well, even if it's not scary, it's still deadly. Tall Victor, you better apologize for killing me or I'm not looking away. I'm going to give Tall Victor a 9 out of 10. He honestly looks pretty good, especially as a meal. Next, I made Nibbler. I decided to make Nibbler from a wither, because, well, I don't know. I just never use the wither. I kind of forgot to record me making Nibbler, so here's me adding some orange things on his arms because that's all I have. I spawned the Nibbler in game and he was honestly looking pretty crazy. Ignore the black spot on the bottom, I didn't know this would happen. I'm pretty sure Nibbler doesn't fly around and attack random mobs so I don't think this is accurate. I'm also not sure if you see it but he kind of looks like the guy from Monsters Inc. There's honestly not much to do with this guy so I decided to see if he can beat Jumbo Josh. Jumbo Josh is the most powerful Ban Ban mob so far but he might lose this one. Yeah, Nibbler's health bar is barely moving, this isn't looking good. Come on, Jumbo Jumbo Josh, you can win this one. Okay, I was lying. There's no way he was winning this one. I guess I'm gonna have to step in and end this. Yeah, I had even less chance than Jumbo Josh. Nibbler is too good. I decided to give Nibbler an 8 out of 10. I honestly can't really tell if he looks good or bad, so I'm just gonna go with good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Miss Luna. I decided to make her from a bee because I think she's a bug. I colored her body purple, gave her some eyes, and then I added her crown. After that, I added her dress, gave her some legs, and finally added her wings. She actually ended up looking pretty good in game. The flying suits her well. I will say her eyes look kind of weird though. She looks sad. I decided to spawn a baby Miss Luna and it looked exactly the same. I don't really know what I was expecting. Miss Luna is probably pretty good at fighting so I decided to put that to the test. Okay, maybe I was wrong. She didn't even really fight. I spawned an army of Miss Lunas and then I decided to make them all follow me. Okay, this one isn't that scary. Oh wait, why is she upside down? Wait, I just noticed that bees like to attack Zoglins for some reason. Look at them all ganging up on the Zoglin, like what is going on? I decided to give Miss Luna an 8 out of 10. She looks really good, but she doesn't really do anything. She's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Dr. Fluffy Pants. I made him from a panda. I moved his head, colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. Next, I added his eyes, gave him some ear things, and made the heart on his chest. Dr. Fluffy Pants is definitely an interesting name for a guy like this. He looks kind of buff. Also, we'll ignore his head. I know it's broken, but I don't care. Wait, look at him rolling around. That's kind of crazy. Since I made him from a panda, I decided to feed Dr. Fluffy Pants some bamboo. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with him. This is not okay. I decided to spawn a baby Dr. Fluffy Pants, and this is what happened. Well, the good thing is I can't break him by feeding him bamboo. The bad thing is his head is floating higher than before by default. Oh wait, they're following me because I'm holding bamboo. I didn't even realize. Since Dr. Fluffy Pants is a doctor, I decided to see if he can perform an operation. Alright, I guess he doesn't feel like doing it. He's just gonna leave this villager to die. I decided to give Dr. Fluffy Pants a 7 out of 10. I like how he looks, but his head is broken. We can't excuse that. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Chef Pigster, and I made him from a pig. I gave him his face on his chest, added his other head on the top, and then I gave him some sideways arms. Chef Pigster actually looks pretty good in game, but I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a lot bigger. His arms also don't move
move with his head, but I'm not fixing that. Chef Pigster is supposed to be a chef, so I decided to see if he can cook me a meal. I probably shouldn't have chosen a pork chop, that's kind of messed up. After that, I decided to spawn a baby chef.